Hi there, my name is Kenzie. I'm offering you a restorative yoga practice today here in the beautiful Everyday Counts program room. Um, as you can see, I have some props for the practice today. I have two big bed pillows. In fact, I have four smaller bed pillows and I've shoved two into each pillowcase to give them a little extra firmness. I also have two fleece blankets. These could be any blankets that serve you well or even some more cushions. Uh, you could do this whole practice in your bed. So if getting up and down off the floor is at all an issue for you, set up on your bed, set the computer where you can see it, use your pillows from your bed, use your blankets. Uh, you can be as comfortable as you choose. Comfort is the most important part of this practice. So let's begin by making ourselves comfortable. We are going to start in a reclined position. This is what I suggest is that we save one of these um, blankets for under our head, maybe a second if you're used to quite a lot of elevation, or the second blanket could be for over your body. And then the two pillows, if possible, could be saved for under your knees. And that's gonna give the low back a chance to lengthen and soften. But if two pillows under the knees is too much, just use one or none. Again, your choice. Once you are comfortable, keep looking for that comfort. You know, wiggle around, keep adjusting, keep experimenting. And once you are comfortable, perhaps close your eyes. Begin to breathe through your nose if you can. And as you settle in, as you draw your awareness inward, you might notice that you can seek your comfort just a little bit more, that there might be just a little bit more movement adjustment that you can make to increase your comfort. Eventually becoming still, but knowing that you can move at any time for comfort. And starting to soften your body onto this support beneath you. And tuning in to that sensation of where your body touches the soft support beneath you. Starting to tune in to this feeling of stillness and connection wherever your body touches down. Feeling the back of your body and becoming still and connected to the soft support beneath you. From this place of stillness, let's begin to feel the movement of our breath that helps you to bring your hands to rest on your abdomen. Inhale, feel your belly soften and expand. Exhale, feel your belly gently fall. Soft, deep in-breath, softer, slower out-breath. Feeling the belly rise and fall with each soft, deep in-breath. Softer, slower out breath. Mm -hmm. 
Let's begin to simply count our breath. Each in-breath and out-breath is one, and then two, and then three. And if you lose count, just start at one again. Soft and deep. Softer and slow. If your mind wanders, start again at one. Soft and deep inhale. Softer, slower exhale. Let's simply count three or four more breaths. Feeling the belly rise with the inhale. And fall with the exhale. If you feel like it, you could rest a hand to the belly and a hand to the chest. And offer yourself some sweetness, a kind word, a prayer, an affirmation, just for you. From your own giving hand. And releasing your hands. We might give our fingers and toes a little wiggle and perhaps slowly turn your head from side to side. There might be a yawn or a stretch. And please know you can always stay in the same position throughout the whole practice and I'll continue to guide you uh, into different relaxations throughout. But if you are ready to bring a little bit of movement here, I'm going to invite you to bend your knees a little more and bring your feet to the pillows, perhaps. Notice how that feels. Oh, you could hug the knees into the belly. Maybe use your hands on your knees or shins as we start to rock from side to side. Maybe we can circle both knees together a little bit. And bringing a little bit of pelvic tilting and rocking. If your eyes can remain closed or softly open, we're going to change the direction of that circle. These can be tiny movements. And 
And then as we come back to center, we are going to rest one leg on those pillows again and bring the other foot off the mat. Again, rest our hands to the knee. We could actually tuck the hands behind the knee. And we'll bend and straighten the leg a few times. Just as much or as little as you choose. You can be supporting your leg with your hands. And a couple more times. And then maybe the next time that leg is, is moving towards straight, you could point and flex the foot a few times. Again, this can be tiny movement, a place of kind of movement before stretch, openness before stretch. You could circle from the ankle. change direction. You could gaze wondrously at your foot or you could close your eyes here. And now we'll hug that knee towards the belly a little bit, maybe even letting it rock to the side or maybe a little bit side to side here. Again, this can be a little bit of movement. It can be guided with both hands. And then we'll slowly release that leg to the pillow. Notice how your legs feel. Maybe they feel a little different relative to each other. So let's do the same on the other side. So we're bending the knee, maybe holding on to the back of the knee, and maybe not. Could be the shin. I'm going to bend and straighten a few times. You could also go no hands, just depending on what you need here. And this could be the slightest bit of movement. We don't need to straighten the leg. This could be enough. A couple more. And bring that nice soft belly breath that you can invite this to be kind of easy. Yeah, the next time that leg is straight, we can point and flex a few times. Maybe circle from the ankle. And change in direction. And then gently hugging the knee in. So maybe a little to one side. And back to center. This can be the tiniest bit of movement. Just noticing. How it feels. Maybe once more. And then we can release that leg beside the other. So now I'm going to show you the setup for the next pose. And there's a couple different variations depending on how you're feeling through your chest. Um, and because there's a bit of twisting, just noticing how it feels in the body. So always feel free to try out a few different suggestions and then feel free to experiment on your own as well. Uh, the good news here is that you can press pause at any time and you can review it. Um, so what you'll see now is that I'm gonna roll over to one side and get my props set up. So I'm bringing my two big pillows to the front of my mat, like so. And then possibly using these two blankets as a bit of a pillow in and of themselves. So what you'll see is my bottom leg, it's hard to see my bottom leg, it's gonna remain straight or bent, but on the mat, you can see it there. Um, and then using these pillows, I'm gonna lie onto my side, bring the top leg onto the pillows, and then bring my shoulder down on the mat, and rest here, and then I can start to adjust how high the knee wants to go. So we talked about this briefly before. Can we get into that place of openness before stretch? So we don't want to be in a really stretchy place, but we might find that we do like the leg quite close to the chest or that we want it further away, uh, even more or less bent. And then there's one more option, and this is where it offers a bit more openness through the chest, 
but it really is contingent on whether um, we're comfortable putting pressure on our chest. And if that's the case, we can actually turn the chest down to the mat, maybe remove one of the blankets, adjust breast tissue, bring the arms out to the side so that, you know, there's a little more happening here. You could even place that second blanket kind of under the chest to provide more soft support, or even to just tip up one side of the chest so there's less pressure on the other side. So you can play with that. Again, you can press pause. You can keep looking for comfort. Some of us might even bring that top, the front of the straight leg thigh a little more onto the mat. So you do feel this kind of openness, like the belly is moving towards the floor. And there's a little more openness to the inner thigh. So again, there's this variation, or we could roll a little more onto our side, stacking the shoulders stacking those blankets and putting those arms wherever we want. Yeah. So hopefully by now you found some comfort here. Just like before, you can close your eyes. To find your breath. And again, notice, are you comfortable? Could you make any adjustments? to increase your comfort. Now starting to settle your body onto this soft support beneath you. Continuing to make adjustments for comfort. Let's begin to tune in to the rhythm of our own breath here, the movement of our own breath within our body. Inviting that soft, deep in breath to expand the abdomen. And soft or slower out breath, drawing the belly in without effort. This is not the fullest inhale or the most complete exhale just lands a little bit deeper, rolls out a little bit slower. We're not forcing or controlling the breath, we're simply allowing and inviting. And we can begin to count again to help us stay focused on this soft, deep in breath. Soft or slower out breath, that's one. And two. Keep going, and if you lose count, just start at one again. Soft, deep in breath. Soft or slower out breath. Feeling your abdomen expand with the in-breath and gently draw back in with the out-breath. There's a feeling of stillness and connection where your body touches down on the soft support beneath. Feeling the stillness 
and connection. The quiet of your body and the movement of your own breath. Let's count three or four more. Soft and deep. Soft and slow. As you complete those breaths, you know you can stay here as long as you wish. If you're ready to find your way into this on the other side, let's give the fingers and toes a wiggle. Uh, and maybe slowly guide your knee to meet the other knee. Bring that top hand to the floor to gently push us upright. So this might be as simple as rolling to your other side, taking your pillows with you. I'm going to set up at the other end of my mat. And you might have different needs on this side, depending on what's happening through your breast tissue and even what's happening through your leg and hip, top or bottom. Um, so again, really honoring where you're at today and trusting that this side might provide you with um, just a different set of needs. Again, we'll start by bringing those pillows in front. And as we kind of lean into one arm, we could bring that top leg up, that bottom leg down, and bring the shoulder down. The stack of two pillows might be a nice height for your head. But again, we could be adjusting in different ways, bringing the knee higher, bringing that top leg longer. And of course, I'm kind of a deeper expression, but depending on what's happening through your breast tissue, this other variation can feel very opening through the chest and shoulder. We might remove one of these blankets and turn our entire chest to the mat, our forearms to either side of the blanket, and even bringing that second pillow in to kind of prop up one side of the chest could take some pressure off breast tissue or even support that front arm. And at this place, you could even um, kind of bring your belly towards the mat and the top front of the, front of the back thigh to the mat. So there we are, a little more openness through the chest and hip. But again, a lovely variation is to roll onto that bottom shoulder and bring this knee up just as comfortable as you choose. And again, feel free to press pause to gather more comfort items. And when you're ready, close your eyes. Find your breath. And again, you might notice that this is when you realize you could be a little bit more comfortable and you continue to adjust for that comfort. Yeah. Starting to soften your body. Let it kind of melt onto this soft support beneath you. Feeling all of that stillness and connection where your body touches down. And from this place of stillness and connection, Beginning to tune in to the movement of your own breath. 
soft, deep in breath, expanding your abdomen. Softer, slower out breath, the abdomen gently draws in. Without effort, a gentle allowing, an invitation for the inhale to land soft and deep. And the exhale to roll out softer and slower. And tuning in to the journey of your own breath and perhaps beginning to gently count each breath. And if your mind wanders, if you lose the count, that's okay. Come back, begin again. Soft and deep, soft and slow. Feeling the stillness and connection where your body touches down, softly supported. As you continue to count your own breath. Soft and deep. Soft and slow. Let's simply count three or four more breaths. If you feel a deep need to stay right where you are, please feel free. If you want to give your fingers and toes a little wiggle, that could be nice too. Maybe there's a yawn. 
And then maybe a slowly bringing the top leg to meet the bottom, giving them both a little bend here. And making space to press the top hand into the mat and slowly coming upright. Yeah. So we're going to prepare for our next set of poses. Again, I like to invite a little bit of movement in between to prepare the body, but you can always skip the movements. So I'm coming to hands and knees, all fours, tabletop position. You could place an extra blanket under your knees. You could also come onto forearms. We'll do a little bit of cat-cow. What that means is drawing the tailbone under and slowly rounding the spine. And then turning the tailbone up and slowly arching the spine. And unlike our more active practice, this is just a tiny bit of movement. Noticing how that feels, whether you wish to grow the movement a little bit more or not. Now we'll come to stillness. We're going to shift the hips back a few times and then forward. And again, you could be on forearms here. Couple more, just finding an easy rhythm here. Great. So, our next pose is a supported prone position, and there's two variations. There's a supported child pose, um, or a supported um, kind of straight leg child pose, for want of a better term. So I'll show you the first variation. Um, so probably using both of your pillows stacked, you'll notice um, my knees are on either side and you don't need to do a deep knee bend here. Your hips could be off your heels quite a bit. And then slowly lowering down onto um, the pillows, turning your head to one side. Um, depending on what's happening, well, first of all, if you turn your head to one side, I will let you know at the halfway point to turn your head again. But depending on how long your torso is and how you feel about pressure on your breasts, you could push those pillows further away. That's going to make more space for the belly. Yeah. And even you could elevate your head a little bit with that blanket. Again, that would just elevate the chest um, or bring more space for the breast tissue. And another option here would be to place your blanket uh, behind your knees. The other one, just fold it. And that could support... Um, your hips and knees a little bit more. So just know that those are options. And that's a great place to be. And again, I'll let you know when to turn your head. You can always shift your head quite over to one side, same with the chest. So you'll notice you could even have the pillow far enough that you've got space in the chest with no pressure. I do wanna offer one more variation, but if you're comfortable, you can stay right where you are. And the other option is to stack these blankets at the end. Pull the pillows a little bit closer. So I'm making a little space here for my face and maybe even for my breasts. As I keep um, the knees just at the start of the pillow, I'm gonna lower myself onto those pillows. And then I've got space for my face as I rest my forehead on these stacked blankets. You might even need to fold the blanket to add more of a stack. I've got my arms out to either side. And if I do feel like um, the breasts are a little bit too compressed here, but my knees are way happier, I can again actually make enough space for the chest to kind of hang over the edges of the pillows and still support the forehead, arms out to the side. So whatever you need here. Now, even for some of us, rolling up a blanket or a pillow underneath our ankles, underneath the front of the top of our feet, are gonna allow the feet to rest more comfortably too. So that's another, another little option here. So I'm gonna invite you to find that comfortable position. 
whatever it is for you. I'm gonna choose one where I can face, face the camera. Yeah. And you know your hands could be at the top, kind of holding something close. We're closing our eyes. And again, we might notice we could search for comfort a little bit more once our eyes are closed. And because there might be a, a little feeling of pressure against the abdomen, you might notice that now as you inhale, you can invite a sense of expansion into your waist and into your back. So let's begin to focus on the waist, focus on the low back. And imagine kind of filling those parts up with breath with the inhale. Exhale, softening and settling. Feeling the soft support beneath you. Imagine that you could melt just a little bit like butter in a warm pan, just melting into this soft support. And each in breath as if you could create a little more softness and ease into the waist, into the low back. Each exhale melting onto the soft support beneath you. Feeling the stillness and connection. Let's begin to count the breath once more. Soft and deep. Softer and slower. And if you've turned your head to one side, I'm going to invite you to slowly lift and turn your head to the other side. And again, you get settled into your pose. Find that in-breath, soft and deep. And that out breath, softer and slower. And gently counting the breaths. As we feel that soft expansion moving into the waist, into the low back with each in breath.
And if your mind has wandered, that's okay. Let's just count four or five more breaths here. Soft and deep. Inhale, softer, slower, exhale. As you complete those breaths, you can choose whether you're ready to move yet. It's okay to stay here for as long as you wish. If you are ready to move again, maybe a wiggle of the fingers or toes, maybe a yawn, or maybe walking those hands gently under your shoulders and lifting up and out of this pose. So, we could return to that little bit of movement, that cat-cow. Again, on forearms or on hands, some rounding, tucking that tailbone under. And some arching. And this can be just the tiniest bit of movement to tilt the pelvis, to spread the shoulder blades apart and then together kind of stretch through the back body to stretch through the front body or even just to to move through those parts couple more And then coming back to our neutral spine, again, we could press back a few times. Forward and back, and again, this could be on forearms. This could be no movement at all, just if you choose. Three or four more, just as much, just as little as you need. Feel ready, coming back to tabletop and then coming to one side. Um, it is time for our final, final relaxation. And I'm giving us a little more time for it today so that we can do um, a bit of a yoga nidra style body scan where we're gonna bring awareness to different parts of the body um, through our, throughout our relaxation. And then we'll come back to that breath count if you so choose. Um, any of these positions you could do this practice in. Um, I am going to invite you to come back to that first position where we stacked the pillows for under our knees and then we used one or two blankets under our head, maybe saving a blanket for over your body. Or even on any part of your body that you feel just needs a little more sense of support, of connection, or even just that little bit of weight. Yeah. So you can rest your hands to your belly or out to the sides. Your legs can be closer or further apart. You can always experiment with your own comfort because we will all find comfort a little bit differently. So continuing to make yourself comfortable and then perhaps closing your eyes. And for those unfamiliar with this yoga nidra style body scan, I will mention or name the body part and you can repeat it silently to yourself and simply 
kind of send your awareness there. So notice what you feel there without moving it. And if there's a place you don't want to go, you don't have to go there. You can come back to the breath. You'll be moving, we'll be moving on fairly quickly. So let's soften and settle here. Eyes are closed. We found our soft, deep breaths. Soft and deep. And soft and slow. I invite you to become aware of your right hand thumb. Your right hand thumb. First finger. Second finger. Third finger. Fourth finger. The palm of your hand back of your hand, wrist, elbow, shoulder, right armpit, waist, hip, knee, ankle, Heel, top of the foot, sole of the foot, right big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe. the whole right side, the whole right side. Bring awareness to your left hand thumb, left hand thumb. First finger, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, palm of the hand, back of the hand, wrist, elbow, shoulder, left armpit, waist, hip, knee, ankle, heel, top of the foot, sole of the foot, left big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe, the whole left side. the whole left side. Top of the right foot, top of the left foot, both together. Right shin, left shin, both together. Front of the right thigh, front
front of the left thigh. Both together. Right side abdomen. Left side abdomen. Both together. Right side chest. Left side chest. Both together. Right shoulder. Left shoulder. Both together. Front of the right arm. Front of the left arm. Both together. Right palm. Left palm. Both together. The front of the neck. The lower jaw. The right cheek. The left cheek. Both together. The right nostril. The left nostril. Both together. The right eye. The left eye. Both together. The right ear. The left ear, both together. The forehead. The scalp. The entire front of your body. the entire front of your body. On the back of your head. On the back of your neck. On the back of your right arm, the back of your left arm, both together. The back of your right hand, the back of your left hand, both together. The whole right side of your back. The whole left side of your back. Both together. The right buttock. The left buttock. Both together. The back of your right thigh, the back of your left thigh, both together. Your right calf, your left calf, both together. 
your right heel, your left heel, both together. The sole of your right foot, the sole of your left foot, both together. The entire back of your body. The entire back of your body. The entire front of your body. The entire back of your body together, the whole right side, the whole left side together, your whole body. Feeling your whole body. Together. Turning to the soft, deep in breath. Soft or slower out breath. Let's begin to count. Let's count four or five more, soft and deep, soft and slow. If you feel like it, you could bring a hand to the belly and a hand to the chest. And once more, offer yourself some sweetness, that kind word, that prayer, that affirmation just for you. Are welcome to stay right where you are for as long as you choose. When you are ready to move, remember to move slowly, to take your time, to be gentle with yourself. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you have any questions, please always feel free to reach out to us at the Everyday Counts program. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.